So this morning before work, I thought, what better activity to do before going to work other than rolling around on my back underneath red and disconnecting my fuel hoses from the fuel cooler that's underneath the intake manifold. So that's what I went ahead and did. I wanted to get these fuel hoses remade by an alternate supplier uh, because the first group used hose that clearly does not last when exposed to fuel. So let's see how we go this time. So that was quite a nightmare. Having the fuel cooler certainly makes life more difficult because you do have an extra hose. Um, technically the car is licensed now so I could actually delete the fuel cooler. It is part of uh, the emission controls. It reduces evaporative emissions from the fuel tank as you're driving along in summertime running the air conditioner. Uh, it actually cools down the return fuel going back to the tank. It's nothing to do with performance increase because any gains would be uh, deleted and some by the fact that you're running the compressor. It's all to do with reducing the temperature of the fuel in the tank and thus the evaporative emissions. Um, now, because it was uh, standard fitment in Australia, I couldn't have that just open to the atmosphere and disconnected when I went for licensing, but now the car's licensed, so really who cares? No one's gonna be looking at it ever again, but screw it, I've already gone this far, I might as well just get that extra hose made up. And yes, you can have a closer look at just how crap these hoses are, and I paid an absolute fortune for these to be done by a hose specialist and told them it was for fuel, and I can pretty much guarantee that is not fuel rated. I don't even want to look it up because it's just going to piss me off. I'm sure that is not fuel rated. Uh, it is such a waste of time. It almost got me killed uh, because, uh, if you're not aware, the suction line from the tank collapsed completely and uh, stalled as I was pulling out in front of another car in a 100k zone. So hopefully the ultimate fuel specialist, uh, hose specialist in Western Australia, I should say, can do a better job at making these hoses up for me. I'll drop those off today on my way to work and we'll see what they can do. So this is the finished product at the end of the day. And yes, it even says automotive fuel hose. Well, that's definitely a step in the right direction. So that should hopefully once and for all be one of the last times I change fuel hoses on red. I do have the rest of the hoses genuine, uh, but they're going to take a very long time to get here because there is some kind of issue going on with shipping at the moment to Western Australia. Um, they have landed in Sydney, but uh, it's going to take a while to get here. I suspect red will not be drivable until next year at this stage, um, possibly well into January. But anyway, that's, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, shockingly, that uh, Jiffy hose that uh, was on here before was actually gasoline rated. Um, I'm shocked and appalled because that lasted like one year before it absolutely fell to pieces. I don't know what gasoline they're talking of, but certainly not West Australian gasoline. We don't even have ethanol in our fuel here, so it's not that. Um, but I do only run 98 octane. I don't know if there's any additives in that that might be destroying it. But anyway, that's completely unacceptable. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully a lot better.